welcome back to Cody's lab. So I've got two balloons here. One is filled with helium, one has got sulfur hexafluoride in it. These two gases have widely different molecular weights and therefore speeds of sound. So breathing helium makes your voice high, breathing sulfur hexafluoride makes your voice really low and deep. Breathing both at the same time, well, that's what we're going to find out today. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to do a little bit of pre-breathing, oxygenate my blood, because I'm going to go without oxygen for a while. For that very reason, don't try this at home. Then I'm going to breathe the helium, sulfur fluoride, and then attempt to hold a constant note, something like this. Uh, apologies that my singing voice isn't any better. But without further ado, here we go. of the gas in as I was hoping for, but I think that worked. Uh, definitely, I think my voice is no longer deep, so I got all the sulfur out and then it replaced it with helium. And as far as I could tell, my voice did get higher pitched as I went along. So, awesome. Uh, you might have seen other YouTubers trying to do the same thing, and Usually when I see people attempt this, they end up with just a, a pitch, the gas coming out, and the speed of sound is basically just an average of the two. So it's not super high, not super low. And the reason for that is your lungs are very good at mixing gases, which is a good thing. A uh, few things that make them mix the gases better is talking, for one, the agitation from the stop and starting of the flow that really causes it and like the, the little suck backs that you do during talking you know, mixes the gases very well so constant steady note that is why I did that because <laughs> it uh, doesn't mix them nearly as much uh, the second thing is counterintuitively it is actually better to breathe the helium in first and then the sulfur hexafluoride. You'd think that since the sulfur hexafluoride is heavier, it would like sink down and the helium would try to get up on top of it. And that is true, but the geometry of the lungs, is, it's not like filling a bucket. It's more like filling a sponge with a straw stuck into it. Uh, the idea that I had was to fill the spongy portion of the lungs with the helium, and then the straw, the, the trachea, the windpipe with the sulfur hexafluoride. The sulfur hexafluoride is a big, heavy, slow molecule, so it doesn't diffuse into things very easily. Helium does. So helium would, if you switch the two, the helium would just kind of flow through and mix with the sulfur hexafluoride. Uh, doing it the other way, well, I was able to push the sulfur out, and then all that was left in the spongy portion was helium. Uh, Second, you notice that the amount of helium that I breathed was much greater, and that's because, uh, well, there's a lot more spongy space in the lungs, and it doesn't take very much sulfur hexafluoride to deepen your voice. It is a lot heavier than helium is light, if that makes any sort of sense. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Quick little video. My other project for the week uh, didn't turn out as well as I would have hoped, so... That's what we end up with. Hope you enjoyed anyway. I'll see you next time.